I'm starting off my mini desk makeover by unboxing some packages I got from Logitech. Although the items are quite small, they came in these huge boxes. By the way, welcome or welcome back to my channel, it's Serene's Life. The first thing that I got is this white mouse pad. Although I was a bit hesitant to get it since it would probably get dirty quickly, I really like the look of it. It also matches the white and purple theme I have going on with my Mac. Let's unbox the second package. I've been eyeing this keyboard palm rest for a long time now, and I finally got it. It's firmer than I thought, but it's still squishy regardless. This cloud is a cute addition to my desk setup. The next thing that I got is this pretty white RGB keyboard. Some of the keycaps fell off, so I put them back in place. The size compared to my Mac keyboard shocked me. Provided with the keyboard is the wire. It also comes with random colored keycaps and coincidentally, it was purple. It also comes with a white space bar, plus a keycap remover. I have never went out to buy a keyboard before, so I'm actually not sure what this does. Let me know in the comments below if you know what this is. As for the broken keycap, I actually contacted the seller and they were willing to send a new one. For now, I'll just keep my right and left keycap purple. This is what the back looks like. It comes with these tabs so that you can put your keyboard on an incline. The keyboard has a Type-C input while it is connected to the computer using a Type-A. External accessories from Mac typically don't work really well, but I'm willing to give it a try. The RGB lights are so pretty, though the instructions are 20 pages long and quite confusing.
The reason why this is a mini desk makeover is because I didn't change much about the other parts of my desk. The changes are really subtle. For example, my stationery used to be near the computer, but now I put it on top of my desk. Cable management is as messy as ever, so I didn't really bother changing anything. As seen in my room cleaning video, my room gets really dusty really quickly, so I did some light dusting. That's pretty much what I did for my desk outside of my computer area. Because I got myself a keyboard, of course I also had to get myself a new mouse. I actually pre-ordered this from a few months ago, so I'm very excited to unbox it now. I love how the dongle for this is shaped like a cat, though I wished it was white instead of black. Similar to the keyboard, it's also Type-C to Type-A. I'm in love with the look of the mouse already. The mouse also comes with skates. Since I pre-ordered, I got this special Zodiac skate. It also comes with some stickers and more accessories, plus the instruction manual. Lastly, it also comes with a pouch to store your mouse. Don't forget to peel off any safety stickers before using for maximum efficiency. The cord is also in this black color. And once you plug it into the computer, the cat eyes actually light up. The on and off button for the mouse is on the bottom, and you can use the exact same cord as the dongle to charge the mouse. The app to customize this mouse actually only works in Windows, so I had my boyfriend help me with this process. Besides updating firmware and pairing the two together, we also adjusted the color of the cat eyes. This mouse weighs way less than the Magic Mouse, which makes it slide even further. Now I'm going to test everything together by playing Stardew.
Since I only have four ports in my Mac and they're already relatively full, I got this USB-C hub. I probably won't need this anymore once I build my PC, but it comes in handy now. Other accessories I already have, I have this microphone I got from my boyfriend, plus a DAC amp and a pair of headphones. I'm really happy with how my desk makeover turned out. I especially love how it looks in dark mode. Thanks for tuning along and see you next time!